Good morning from Kobe, Japan. This is Alan Gibson from J Soccer Magazine giving you a quick tour of the J Soccer office. Today is December the 7th. Hence, the human calendar is wearing Nakata, signed Perugia, number 7. And we'll take a quick look at the shirts on the wall later. But for now, let's take a look at issue number 1, signed by Yasuhito Endo. Issue number 2, signed by Freddy. Issue number three is on the way. Some of the trophies on the wall. Next Saturday in Kobe, we have a talk show with our special guest, Miyamoto, Sunyasu Miyamoto, who is represented well in the J Soccer office with various old and, old and, slightly old and new pictures. Uh, thanks to Endo for interview in the first magazine. And he's got his little name on the wall. That's uh, Usami there, of course. Uh, some boots. Some signed articles, the legendary Kazu, and of course it's all a load of balls. Keisuke Honda, World Cup ball, used Vissel Kobe, Sign Squad Japan, Sign Squad, and a few little teddy bears to keep you going nicely. Some of the books that keep us up to date, and some of the old magazines that I've written in over the years. Issue 2, ready to go out. Issue 1, almost finished, where are they? Yes. There they are. That's what's left of issue one. Oh, and those. There you go. We've got about a hundred issue one, so get in there quick. A view out of the door. Well, out of the window. There you go. And the mountains of Kobe in the background there. The four computers, of course. Mine is the biggest. Set to the jsucker.com website. Don't miss it. So, let's have a look at these shirts, shall we? We have the history of Japan on the top row. Pre-1990, 1992-3-4 approximately, that's a Kazu match-worn shirt from the Doha tragedy. 1997-8, the World Cup, that's a Nakata match-worn shirt, pre-World Cup. 1999-2000, that's a Miyamoto match-worn shirt for Japan in the uh, Asian Champions League, uh, Asian Champions thing, you know, tournament. Uh, number 17, that's Miyamoto again. He's everywhere. 2002 World Cup, long sleeves. Uh, 2005-06, that's a Shinji Ono match-worn shirt from the qualifiers for Germany 2006. Going on a little bit further, we see the next shirt. Okubo, signed shirt, away. And Bando Ryuji, number 74. The reason he chose that was because number 11 was not available. 7 plus 4 is 11. Bando Ryuji scored two goals for Japan against India, wearing that shirt. 2006, we're back there again. This is Japan v Brazil. 2006 World Cup, Miyamoto Suniyasu, and the current shirt. Someone answer the phone. The champions of the J-League, Kashiwa Reiso. Number 25 from 2010, actually, and another Bando shirt there. Vissel Kobe represented well here in our local hometown. Down below, Vissel Kobe again, Kazu, signed shirt from before they became crimson. Very old signatures from Yama. There you go, that's a Sereso Osaka shirt, including Morishima and Nishizawa at the bottom there. And as you can see, it's the old style with the kanjis. A uh, really no, lovely shirt, lovely shirt. And there we have Vissel Kobe again, fully signed match-worn shirt from Nishitani, actually that one. Then we go into the JFL about... Ten years ago, Sagawa FC, a strong team, often win, but never want to go up to J2. I'm not sure why. Could be fun. Omiya Adija represented this week with a signed shirt from Mura, I believe. Toshia. Mura Toshia. Getting out of the way there. Gamba Osaka Champions League shirt from Michihiro Yasuda, now at Vitesse Arnhem. And uh, there's another one, a, a little thing that the players exchanged, Gamba v. Jeju United. And uh, very hard to see, but signed shirt from Hashimoto, Myojin, Kimura, and a few others. This was signed at the 2005 championship party, almost covered in beer. Uh, Gamba Osaka won the championship in 2005. That night, I got the signatures on the shirt. 2001 Jomo Cup Miyamoto Suniyasu match worn shirt for Japan Dreams. He's here again. Yes, it's Miyamoto week. If you don't know what's happening, Miyamoto is entertaining us on Saturday night on the boat uh, with a talk show. 
and a buffet and a lot of fun, I hope. So there he is, Miyamoto's match-worn shirt from the All-Stars 1999, I believe. Uh, we've, we change the shirts regularly. As you see, we have another box of shirts there and another box of shirts here. And uh, there's Nagoya Grandpa sneakily hiding there. And in fact, about six more boxes hidden away in the office. So there you go, that was a quick tour of the J Soccer Magazine office. We're preparing for the Miyamoto talk. 88 lucky people are going to get a little presents, a signature of Miyamoto, some lucky drawers from ASICS and Nike, and uh, in general have a good time. So there you go, in fact there's the event so I can show you that. Christmas dinner cruise with Suniyasu Miyamoto. Jay Sucker presents Christmas Dinner Cruise, 88 people limited, sold out. We didn't even have to give away these flyers, it's sold out. Now, let's see, can I turn myself around and sign off? Yes, Alan Gibson of Jay Sucker Magazine in Kobe, Japan, signing off and saying, be there, be square, or something like that, you know, whatever.